Hey folks, it's Jeremy Hamilton. Uh, out here at Decker's, we're doing, we're doing some seine netting today so we can figure out what bugs the fish are gonna eat and it'll help you in your fishing day so you, when you're new to a river, you know where to start, you know which bugs, bugs are available to the fish and then you can select your flies based on that so you can have a successful day. So we've already done a seine. Uh, we have we have some stuff on here, some some worms, some some. Uh, well, now I can't find them, but but we already did our seine. So what we did is we have this this net. It's a fine mesh net. You can get them at any fly shop. Um, it's you you stick it stick it over your net. You put it in the water. You can scrape the bottom up, uh, just just like this. Scrape the bottom up so you get any food. Uh, any bugs off the rocks and, and then you can you can take a peek at what you have so we've already done this we've already picked out some bugs uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you now now you know the you have the bugs even if you don't know what the bugs are all you have to know is how to match those bugs or match your flies to those bugs so what we have here we've got we've got a good sampling of, of everything that was in there uh, first thing I'll, I'll, since it's moving around First thing we found was a, a caddis larva right here. And you can see I have, have a matching fly. It's, it's a little bit on the lighter side, but, but as it gets wet, it gets dark, but you can see that's a good size, uh, size and profile match. We have the obvious, uh, the, the worm with, with the San Juan worm to match. <laughs> Our worms dried out a little bit. Um, here we have a, a scud, an olive scud. Uh, with the Dorsey's UV uh, scud to match. And then right here we have a blue winged olive nymph or, or betis nymph um, with, with a, a bug to match as well. You can see it's kind of an olive color and it has a dark wing case, if you can see that. And my fly is an olive color with, with the corresponding dark wing case. So that's basically how we can figure out what, what's in the river, what's available to the fish. Now, once you catch some fish, then you can maybe do a, a, a stomach sample to see precisely what they're eating for the day. All this stuff is available, but we want to know sometimes how to really dial that in. So once you catch fish, you can get a stomach sample, see exactly what, what they're doing. Now, if I was going to, based on, based on this sample that we have here, um, setting up a rig for, for fishing this run, I would do either my worm or my scud up top because those are good attractor flies. You could even do you could even do the the caddis larva, um, and then I would go either from the worm or scud. I'd go to the caddis larva and then the the blue winged olive nymph, or you can just if you want to run a two fly rig, you can go worm or scud to either the caddis larva or to the blue winged olive nymph. Um, and there and there's a wide variety of different flies that are going to imitate all these bugs so you know these aren't necessarily the only flies that are going to work you can you know there's also in the south platte system there's always midges so you can use any variety of midges we just didn't get any in our sample today but they're pretty much always there and you can go you can always go tiny on that you can use flashy bugs that are that are going to get the fish's attention uh, even though they're not necessarily imitative they're still going to get the trout's attention and, and they'll go go take a look at that and, it, and it'll look if it looks tasty to them they'll eat it so um but yeah that's that's pretty much how we figure that out for the day and and it's a good start to uh to catching fish out on the water